and what your conversations have been with the White House? There's been no conversations after I made my statement. I think it's basically, you know, and uh, I was very clear. I just I feel as strongly today as I did then that uh, uh, the unknown with the COVID, here we are. We can't even go out. To, I've got a, a 95, M95. We all, I, th I see all of you do. And so there's different uh, concerns that we have right now that we haven't had for a while. So that's a concern. Inflation is still a concern. It's still over 6 percent. And the geopolitical unrest that we have, and I think the president's been doing a yeoman's job trying to talk to Putin and calm things down to let him know where we are. So these are all challenges, guys, and this is all expensive challenges. So that's, that, that's where, Jake, on that we have, there's been no conversation. Ms. Sander on BBB on the child tax credit, are you a hard no on ensuring that, on um, supporting the... Child tax credit is still there, as I'm understanding, basically. Yeah, are, you, are you a hard no on ensuring that families with no income tax obligations get the expanded credit? Are you a hard no on that, Senator Manchin? Uh, I've been basically very clear on that. I think there should be a work requirement, and that means you file a 1099. So a 1099, if you're going to call it a credit, you have to see if you have a liability or not. The only way the IRS would know that is you file 1099. So I've been very, I think, very direct on that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think. Senator Schumer has said that January 17th the deadline for capping a vote on rules changes. Is that an assignment? I, 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 that, 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 you know, we're supposed to have a meeting today. We're supposed to have one right now. And I guess it's been postponed a little bit because people are having a hard time coming in. So I'll be going to a meeting and finding out what, uh, what that entails and, 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 the, and the timelines are talking about. Senator Manchin. Are you open to starting negotiations on Build Back Better, though, which we're talking about? Senior you know, I've never turned down talks with anybody. I really haven't. I just made my, I was very clear on where I stand, and, and I thought it was time to do that rather than just continue on and on as we have for five and a half months. I hadn't changed from the first day when I talked to uh, Leader Schumer on that. And everyone's been working, I think. In the best good faith they possibly can, I've just had a very difficult time in, in understanding where uh, understanding where we are, and where our country is, and and the concerns I have. Does it, so for a child tax credit, does it have to have some sort of a work requirement for you to for you to be able to support the broader Build Back Better package? I mean, you know, I've looked at, talked about all different issues on Build Back Better, but the bottom line, that you're talking about the child tax credit, if you have a credit. That means you've had to earn, have earnings, okay, and have earnings. You can't do that until you decide if you have any liabilities. And if you have liability, you have an offset of a credit. The child tax credit, I understand, we're still in place until 2025, the $2,000. Uh, so people think that it's all gone by the wayside. That hasn't happened. And how Senator flexible Senator is the White House on your views on the child tax credit? I, I do have to talk to the White House about that. Sir, given your concerns about inflation, would you prefer that they simply shelve Build Back Better until the next Congress or just hunt to be done with it this year? Is that your preference that they should shelve Build Back Better altogether? Well, I mean, we'll have to see what, what their desires are and what their priorities right now. They feel very strongly about that, and I respect that. I just had a different of opinion, and we don't have, uh, you know, to do some of the things that's been proposed takes more of a majority than what we have. We have no majority. We're 50-50 with one being the vice president making the deciding vote. And I think we have to take that in consideration. We have, you know, our caucus is pretty, it is, uh, goes from one end of the spectrum to the other. And I'm sure they understand that. Senator, uh, real quick, the Electoral Count Act. Is the, the what now? The Electoral Count Act. Is that something that you've been talking to Republicans about? And would you support Build Back Better if child tax credit was not included? <laughs> I, I'm really not going to talk about Build Back Better anymore because I think I've been very clear on that. There is no negotiations going on at this time, okay? And there's an awful lot of things that had a lot of, uh, a lot of things that were, were very, uh, 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 I think, well-intended. And there was a lot of things that was pretty far reach on some things in the most delicate times that we have right now. And our country is divided. And I don't uh, tend to do anything that divides our country anymore. So whatever I can do to unite and bring people together, and that means you have to work harder as you work across the aisle to bring people together. What is your comfort level with the climate provisions in Build Back Better? There's a lot of good things in that. I mean, I've, been, I've, I've always said, you, you know, we had a lot of money in there for uh, innovation 
technology, tax credits for basically uh, clean, clean technologies uh, and a clean environment. Uh, and I think we have to continue to be realistic also. We have, to have, we have to have enough energy to run our country, and we have to have the transition as it happens, as we move from a fossil dependency to more of a, a cleaner. Do you do that by using fossils in cleaner ways? You should be able to. And you do it by creating new technologies that are uh, the renewables that we have as far as wind and solar and hydro and all the different things. Hydrogen, I've been big on hydrogen. I'm big on nuclear, okay? And I'm really big on basically making sure fossils are used in the cleanest possible fashion. And in America, we do it better than most other countries. So you would say you're not as concerned as some of the other portions of Build Back Better? I think that that's the, the climate thing is one that we probably can come to an agreement much easier than anything else. <laughs>